Hi, I'm corporate trainer Dana Brownlee, and I'd like to talk today about four truly flawed time management approaches. First one is what I like to call the fire extinguisher. This is the person who manages their day, their week, their life by putting out fires. It's a very, very chaotic, very stressful way to live. They're very reactive. Instead of having a plan, instead of prioritizing, they're just putting out whatever they feel is the latest fire. And in my estimation, it's a time bomb approach. As soon as something important falls through the crack or they forget about what they were working on because they left that to put out the latest fire, it will all come crumbling down. So that's a really, really dangerous approach. The next one I found is called a checklist checker. This is the person that is just focused on that list. They really don't have a big sense of prioritization. Um, they're just focused on getting as many checks on that list by the end of the day as they possibly can get. And it's a, a dangerous approach because it tends to give the illusion of success. Wow, I got 10 checks today. Today was a great day. But there's really not a sense of fulfillment because a lot of times they may skip over something that's really more important that might take more time in an effort to make one more check, to gravitate to something that's really quick and easy and I can do it in two or three minutes and get it done. And so what tends to happen is by the end of the day, they may have a lot of checks on a lot of little things, but the big important things that really needed to get done are left untouched. So it's a really dangerous approach. Number three, I call the manic multitasker. This is the person that just pats themselves on the back for doing seven things at one time at all times. And what they're not realizing is they're not realizing how much quality suffers. I know that multitasking is something that gives the illusion sometimes of being more efficient, but in my experience, it's so much more effective to pick one thing truly focus on it, give it 110% of your attention, and then move on to the next thing. The problem with the multitasker a lot of times is there's no sense of discernment in terms of what should or could possibly be multitasked. My personal rule is it's fine to multitask two items as long as neither one is important. So for example, if I'm folding my clothes and also watching reality TV, completely fine. <laughs> Neither one of those is that important and really requires my full attention. Versus if I'm sending emails but also trying to talk to my five-year-old, there I might run into some problems. So what I've found is discernment is so, pro so important when it comes to multitasking. And then number four, I call the plate spinner. This is the person who just can't say no. They have 10 plates in the air at all times and they're spinning. And again, you can see how this is a recipe for disaster because they're just a flat tire away <laughs> or some other unexpected event to happen, which happens to all of us. Just one of those away from everything coming crashing down. And what they desperately need is the ability to say no and to truly prioritize. What they also need is to work smarter, to be a little bit more strategic. They need to realize that you personally don't have to do everything. You can get all 10 of those plates accomplished, but maybe you only focus on five, you outsource three, and you delegate two. So it's about relinquishing control and realizing that you don't have to do it all yourself. These are just a few tips. For more information, look for my article called The New Time Management Model. You can find this as well as other articles, resources, and videos at, on my website at professionalismmatters.com slash resources. Thanks so much.